Photographers of Reddit, what is the most outrageous photo shoot request you have received from an Instagram influencer? Had an influencer try to set up a shoot with me. When I mentioned my price she was shocked because she was under the assumption that I was going to pay her for some reason. I work at a hotel and it's unfucking believable how many of these dipshits want to stay for free in exchange for a post. Our marketing research shows they have almost zero ROI. Someone asked me to shoot her entire wedding. A full day. An engagement photo shoot underwater, I do underwater photography also, and some honeymoon shots somewhere. All for exposure. I straight up said no. Politely and she kicked off in a patronizing way asking me if she knew who she was and what it would do for my career. She had about 10k less followers than I did and I don't even do weddings as I had pointed out so it wasn't even in my best interest even if she had millions of followers. Oh and an influencer guy asked me to do a nude photoshoot for him for free. I declined but wished him luck. He then sent a DCK pic. I reported him. Had someone ask me to do more than a week of videography for them and create a promo video for $200. Not a day. For the whole week. Assuming 8 hours a day. 5 business days. That would come out to $5 an hour. Jesus Christ. That's less than minimum wage. The entitlement of some people. Influencer asked me to shoot and before I even had the chance to give her my prices she decided to give me hers. Over $300 for Emmy to shoot with her for 30 minutes. One of her main selling points was she could teach me how to leverage and grow my social media. Girl was 15. Edit to clarify. She was asking me to pay her $300 plus when in reality at a minimum she should be paying me. I don't even charge that much at her. A few years back I was in Acadia National Park and we did the beehive trail hike. For those unfamiliar it's basically as close to rock climbing as you can get non-harnessed as you are going straight up a cliff on iron rungs and stuff. So super fun and you are rewarded with an amazing view at the top. Most people take a quick snap there at the lip. As most do at the peak of their hike. And then move on to the more rocky area, but less a nice view, to rest. Anyway while we were there resting two Instagram girls got to the top. And promptly took over the best view of the lip to take various yoga poses. Because that was totally a natural thing to do after scrambling up a cliff. Comma for at least 10 minutes families were coming up asking if they could take a picture. But they literally said we were here first and we'll be here a while when asked if they were almost done. We ended up leaving before they were done but it still boils my blood thinking about it. I do documentary film and I had a non-film job in college and I met this lady who was maybe 30 asked me to do an Instagram video like this and she showed me a professional video shoot done with a green screen. Lights and set. I told her I could probably get pretty close to quality, with my university's equipment, but it would take time to get a crew together and reserve a studio. She told me no. That I should just record it with my phone. I told her that's not what they did for the Instagram video she just showed me and she said it's on Instagram. That means they recorded it with their phone. She dropped it after I mentioned I'd charge money and wouldn't just do it to be nice. She has like 10 followers and 3 of them were porn bits. Edit. I've had 3k karma for like 2 years mayo. Not a photographer. But one of my acquaintances is a semi popular influencer. She spends way too much time to see authentic and down to earth. One time at a small party I did something funny that made a bunch of people laugh. Whatever it was wasn't caught on camera and she forced me to recreate the moment so that she could film it for her Instagram stories. You're not having fun unless you can prove it to your thousands of followers apparently. A bald guy asked me to photoshop veins in his head to make his head look like a giant penis. He was some kind of businessman who was selling an audiobook. Beet poop. Some influencer that was promoting Batanin in Beats as healthy diet. She wanted me to take images of the color change poop. That this is actually normal in those that can't process the Batanin. That week. My DSLR was dropped hard. And now I am without it. It was a bad week. Close bracket. The strangest thing to me about this is not the fact that she wanted pictures of the poop. But that she wanted someone else to take the pictures. Yuck. Also. Sorry about your DSLR. 
I had a client ask me to photoshop his head onto another guy's body because he liked the shirt the other guy was wearing more than his own. I actually did it because it was hilarious and he paid me for it. I was in NY once and this girl, should be in her 20s, approached me and told me to take her photo. I thought it would be some general request. But still. To stand up to my pride. I lower the camera to gain an architectural perspective. But then when I look at her. She was standing in middle of the road. One arm on a car, that she must have stopped cause that traffic was ongoing, and the other holding a banner that said. Life. To this day I had no idea what I just witnessed. As a photo assistant in Chicago. I had a friend tell me there was a popular NY photographer looking for an assistant on Instagram for a shoot in Chicago. I inquired with a gentleman. And he said he only had a day rate of $150. On top of that. He said the day would be a 14 hour day. And he asked me to pick up his equipment rental which included a 12 foot sweep. And store it at my place to be ready for the shoot the next day. Hell no. $150 for 17 hours worth of work. IDC which photographer you are pay your assistants correctly. Typo pay not lay. Haha <laughs> I love ridiculous requests because I do surrealist neon stuff on my own time and really enjoy going for weird unusual vibes. Probably the funniest was one girl who came to my house. I have a mini jungle to shoot with my plants and we wrapped her up in vines. Wrapped her guitar. Stacked up plants behind her and generally made it look like she was being enveloped by plants. Fun results. And really funny to shoot. Had a girl contact me to do a suicide girls photo shoot. I gave her my rates and she got back with oh. I don't have that much. Isn't it enough that you'd see my tits? Double quote. Just checked with my bank and unfortunately they don't accept tit pics as payment for my mortgage. Sorry. Double quote. Work in a camera store and do photography myself. Hear stories about this sort of stuff all the time. Usually just ask model shoots for exposure but I've heard and seen stories. There is a fairly popular one at the moment about a photographer in Chicago, about people asking for full wedding shoots for exposure. Not always influencers asking these questions either. Sometimes asshole people ask this stuff and then say stuff like well if I had that equipment then we'd be able to get the same results. They just don't have respect for the time that goes into the art form. She asked for $200 HR with a 3 hour minimum. Without any real prime modeling experience. And had conditions that the photos could not be posted anywhere and that she was going to have them sold exclusively on her Patreon. Not a photographer. But I recently got back from the Dominican and while there. A girl spent roughly 40 minutes sitting on a paddleboard and standing in the ocean striking new poses for what I can only assume was her Instagram. The time invested in being artificially genuine is sickening. I was selling an old camera on eBay. Maybe $50. And someone asked me to send it to him for free so he could review it on his YouTube channel. I'm not the manufacturer of this second hand camera. Just an art student trying to make some money. So I don't know how he thought reviewing my old camera was of any benefit to me. And then it turned out he only had 10 subscribers so I really don't know what he thought he was doing. You have 10 subscribers but start your email off with hi I am name better known as channel name. Close bracket. Somehow have avoided this with my actual photography work but I still laugh about eBay guy. Been a wedding photographer for 12 years. I routinely get asked to do entire weddings for free. Not even always from Instagram influencers. One time this guy, whom I didn't even like that much, asked me to do a wedding for free for his friend. Someone I didn't even know existed at all until this interaction. Asterisk. I just imagine walking into a restaurant and asking for the absolute best meal they have for zero dollars and then telling them it will be good for their business to do so. Influencers weren't what they are now back when this happened but there was this flamboyant musician client I had that wanted to generate a buzz. I was pretty early in my career so it didn't sound crazy at the time. But he hired me to follow him around a local outdoor shopping mall pretending to be paparazzi. It was actually kind of fun shouting fake interview questions at him while he ignored me. Lots of people fell for it and followed us around. 
looking back on it. It was the dumbest gig I've ever had. I do photography on the side since I mostly film video. But I have a friend who has an Instagram account as a side business for fun. I told her I would do a photo shoot for her if she helped me with my resume and cover letter. Although she has tons of companies that give her products to review for free. The photo credit she gave me honestly didn't lead to any followers on my Instagram. So yeah. Anyone who wants exposure for crazy work I don't think knows that they actually don't give any exposure. In my case I was the one who brought up the deal and honestly I would have done it for free to get out of the house because she's my friend. But yeah. That photo credit doesn't do anything in my experience. Went out west hiking. We were packing to leave on a 17 mile hike that day in the hot sun. My friend stopped and said wait. I forgot my flex gear for insta. He ran back to the tent and jammed about half of his clothes into his hiking backpack for the trip. Fast forward to midday when he realized he had taken the camera out of his bag to fit more clothes. R.I.P. I paid my photographer for my album cover with cinnamon buns. He insisted that was the payment he wanted. So I've invented a new currency. Did it with the photo editor too. Although it was a mix of money and cinnamon buns. Not a photographer. But we were it. My friend and I were flying to Vegas. And we were sitting in a bar in the airport having some beers. We watched a girl do a video shoot with her mom for 20 minutes. The odd thing was. She did the same walk away from the camera pulling her bag. Then turn around and pose make a silly face growl at the camera every time. It only took maybe 30 seconds for her to do her thing. Then to go review it. And start again. She did it dozens of times. It was great. Wedding photographer here. They said they were influencers with a great following that they'd promote me to but when I asked for their handle online. Silence. I get this as a lot as I'm fairly well known so an easy target when people look. Exposure? People die from exposure. Well I'm a boudoir photographer on the side of also being a fashion, SFW, photographer. And I've had a request years ago to shoot a spiritual group self masturbation orgy event. At the time I was way too new to the boudoir and erotic side of photography in general to go through with it. Honestly if it were today. I would have totally done it and blogged about it. Not for an influencer but my boyfriend's mom is a photographer and was sent two photos and asked to edit one of them. The first photo was a young man and his grandmother in front of some memorial. The second photo was the young man by himself, a few years later, in front of the same memorial. The family asked Mill to photoshop photo number 2 to have a ghostly looking version of the grandmother next to the young man because she had since passed away. Very odd. I am a model and another model, she was known from a modeling TV show, asked me to shoot with her for a sunglasses company for exposure and fun. Exposure don't pay my bills. It was a big brand and they did not have a budget. When I declined she immediately unfollowed me everywhere. I have a friend who owns a popular bar. He has signs up discreetly saying there is a $100 upcharge if you are an influencer and ask for comps. He literally charges people $100 if they ask him to comp the check because they will mention him. So far he says he hasn't gotten a single charge back from a credit card company when he's done it. I think he has only done it a few times with particularly obnoxious people. An influencer contacted my production company to shoot both a photo session and promo video. They sent Emmy an estimate on how much I had to pay to do the work for her. I politely declined. I'm a train conductor. Heading out to hop on a train that was parked to take it to its destination. The locomotives were under this 200 yard long overpass tunnel. All private property. There's two early 20s girls under there taking pics. I asked them to leave and they took an attitude and were upset I was ruining their photo shoot. The engineer and I are all ready to roll. I'm tall. Young. And fit so the engineer asks if I wanna go try to get a phone number. I reply nah. Reach over and lay on the whistle for a solid minute as the two trespassers run screaming. Whistles are loud. Amplified by a compact overpass tunnel it's painfully loud. Also. 
cool railroad pictures aren't worth getting hurt or putting trainmen in a semi-responsible position of your demise. I shoot concerts frequently as a hobby and I usually offer the artists some photos in exchange for a media pass and tell them they can do anything with the images that I send print or being sold 90% of the time people have zero issues with that and agree happily except rapper Madin Tayo or whatever his name is he asked me to pay him a $300 photography fee to shoot his concert on top of having the ability to do whatever he wants with the images I told him lol no thanks and immediately stopped messaging him he then messaged me twice more asking for $200 then $100 before I blocked him on social media. Had someone ask for me to do a videography shoot of their new house being built. They said $200. But they wanted me to go each weekend for 2 years and shoot it to build up a time lapse and stuff. I definitively said no. This is such a bless your heart question. Influencers don't hire real photographers. They usually get a BFGF for the sake of having a free photographer. Because all you need is an iPhone. Not a nice camera. I had one woman message me who wanted images taking. She didn't go into much detail about what she wanted but she was keen to talk about her history. She was a Brazilian movie star and was quite popular in South America apparently. I did some research and it was predominantly in the 80s and she certainly didn't look as good now as she did back then. I pushed for more details and it turns out she wanted xxx explicit photos because she had started a career as an international escort and was touring around my country. She wanted material to sell to her pervy fans and to display on her profiles to find more sx work. I politely declined. I also had a woman in Newcastle, Australia ask if I could take naked photos of her and two female friends. Unfortunately for me I live in Newcastle, England. I don't know that she was an influencer but still crazy photography request. A couple wanted me to a nude photo shoot for them on the cheap. Which was already no because I don't shoot nudes. I said as much and she insisted and tried to coax me a bit. And went on informing me that we'd have to do it at my studio because they can't at their place. I said I didn't have a studio. And she started telling me my bedroom would be fine. We'll throw up some sheets and decorate it for the shoot. How about 18 levels of hell no you weirdo. I own a wedding photography and videography company in Florida. A YouTube famous couple inquired with us for their wedding and demanded all of the unedited images and video along with the copyright so they could edit themselves for their YouTube channel. It's a request we'll gladly honor. For the correct price. For those of you who don't know. Copyrights to 800, 1500, images and 12 plus hours of video goes for tens of thousands of dollars. They offered to pay us less than half our regular coverage price for everything. Ha. Huh. By girl. When we told them we wouldn't accommodate their request. The bride had her mother call me to yell at us for ruining their wedding. Somewhat related. But I work as a copywriter freelance sometimes and I once was considering taking on this gig I found helping someone write funny. Clever captions for their Instagram. It seemed like a typical Instagram influencer account and had a decent amount of followers. They were actually offering to pay too. Not much. But enough where I was interested. Plus it seemed like a fun thing. They send over some pictures and it's just a bunch of DCK pics. I'm pretty sure the Instagram account I was looking at was not person I was talking to and it was just some catfish that tricked me into looking at his DCK and I'm guessing it was some sort of fetish of his. Stopped looking for freelance jobs on Cryax list after that.